Hi. Hi. Welcome to Camper Campus. I'm Dennis Brock. And uh, it's a beautiful morning. It's Earth Day. Come on inside. I got something really pretty on here. Here. Look at that. What is that? Oh, that is sporangia. Sporangia is the word of today. This is from uh, the spores of a fern, the oldest, pretty much the oldest thing on the planet that's green. These are spores. Can you focus in on those right back there? This is how you can tell you have a mature fern leaf. All those little brown capsulations on there. Those are the sporangia. And I've taken those off. Let me show you one way I did that. I took a knife. Let's just uh, focus on this a second. These have all been, and they're all out. They're all gone. They disappeared during the night. They all came out. They actually, those little tiny, now let's go to the screen. I want to show you something. You see these little circles here and here and here? They're little spring-loaded capsules. And in each one of these is, is dozens, are dozens of spores. 64 is one, one number I saw quoted. 64 spores inside there. And, and the spores are these little tiny things you see scattered about. They're very hard to see at low power. You need higher power for that. We're going to do that later. We're going to probably put a 40 exon on there. So what I did is, uh, focus on this thing, I scraped these off. What magnification? Oh, that's a very good question. Are you, at? you see the yellow ring down here? That tells us that's a 10x objective. And then you got a 5x up here, so you have a total of 5 times a 10, 50x total. And you see what we're looking at here at that power. In order to see the spores, which are little tiny things here, I can't even see them here, you'd have to go to 400x, which would be the longer lens. And that's a separate lesson unto itself, which is this lens right here. And we have to teach you that separately. But what I want to show you is how to spot the mature leaf where the spores are mature. And then you scrape them off. You put them in a Petri dish, put them on a slide. Take a look at what I've done here. I have prepared this. I even put a little bit of, of uh, blue, blue dye on there. You can tell by my fingers. Anyhow, I, uh, a little blue dye. I uh, took a, a brush, a little inexpensive brush, got some inexpensive alcohol dipped it in, and then put it on here. Knowing how to use a slide is a science into itself too, and it will teach you how to do that. But I didn't have to do that. I could have left it on a Petri dish and put it in there, and I still would have seen what you see there. Like I have some here, this is just debris. Let me show you. Put my eye over it and get it in focus, and you can see that there's a lot going on, and there's a lot of activity as far as swirling because the alcohol causes that the alcohol evaporating causes that and so see this one doesn't expand real far but those are basically spores just pouring through there on the turbulence created by the uh, the evaporating alcohol but we need to show you that a higher power to really do this justice so you've got to find, to start with, you've got to find some ferns. You've got to look at the back of the leaf. The back of the leaf will tell you. And if they're just little bumps and they don't look like they're opening up, they're not ready yet. If these things love humidity, they start to develop in humidity. They start to become fertile in humidity. So you scrape them off. And a little food dye works wonders. You can put the food dye on with some inexpensive alcohol. Uh, I use some cheap vodka, which is, uh, this is the only thing I use that for, is uh, <laughs> for diluting stain, because it's better that way. Anyhow, um, it's inexpensive, it, it does a good job, and that's, but so what, what I want to show you next time is the high power, the 40X. Everybody has trouble with that. So we ought to try that next, since we have spores on the slide, we might as well try the 40X. So for now, uh, happy trails, and I'll see you next time. Camper Campus, Dennis Brog, thanks.